how professional I know. Jeez Louise, that was horrible. Um, hi, how y'all doing? Um, this is going to be a very, very strange video today just because... Well, because I was strange yesterday and I posted that that video of me in the hyperbaric chamber and there was a question about it and so I wanted to answer. Yes, Nancy, I do see your, your, your stuff. And how you doing? Um, but I'm actually going to answer this in the the to her because I'm not sure how to answer it for everyone, but um, it's an answer that that uh, everyone you can hear. I, I don't care. Uh, the One of the things about me is if Sometimes if I am not asked a direct question, I will not give an answer just because uh, I, I don't lie. Uh, I, a long time ago, something was brought to me and I decided then a really long time ago that I just wasn't going to lie. And because it's, uh, it's easier and you don't have to remember things. And that's basically why. And it's like, if you never lie, you don't have to remember anything. It's like, you just go. And that hit me that at the time it hit me so hard. It was like, Oh my God, that is so true. And it's like, so I've just never lied. I, I will not say things, but um, I don't lie. And if I am ever asked a direct question, I will give a direct answer. Probably way more than y'all want to know, but I will definitely answer the question. And the question was, why was I in that hyperbaric chamber? Um, and <laughs> grab your popcorn, y'all. Um, basically because I feel like mainstream medical has both saved my life and failed me all at the same time. Um, they saved my life because their knowledge and expertise got rid of this huge thing that was growing in me. They have no idea what to do with it after that. They, they can't handle that. They, have, they had one thing in mind from the time they saw that tumor. They still have it in their mind and they want surgery. They want surgery. They want surgery. And I said, wait, you got rid of it. There's got to be a different alternative. You got rid of it once. You can, do, if it's growing, it's, you, you, you've, you've stopped it to where it's this little tiny thing. It's like uh, just about, I think it's about a centimeter. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like, um, hello, um, it, it's that small. You took it out to to, to, and then you just still want to have surgery. I'm like, no. So we have more scans. They've actually scheduled my surgery. I have scans for about a week and a half. Um, August 3rd, I think it is, um, where they're going to look and see what it's doing. Um, and if it has, if it's even grown just a little bit, I'm going to say no surgery. Uh, so the hyperbaric chamber is... I've been finding out so many different things about cancer that patients know, that survivors know, that um, this is why there's that whole community. I always wondered that, you know, why there's that whole community? Because mainstream medical will only go to a one point and stop, and that's it. They will not open their minds to anything else ever. Um, they wanted straight up to give me opioids, and I refused. And, I, and the whole thing with them has been almost like a fight it's and it's horrible because they saved my life and i love those guys and it's like but there's more and i know that and i've been finding out that they just ignore things that are completely known about your treatment and you know when your doctor looks at you and says well we were hoping that wasn't going to happen because my brain blew up on me and they were like well your physical things were going so well so to them that's all tied together too but they don't tell you that because I'm the one going, my mind and my body are going to, my mind is going to heal my body. And they're like, no, 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 no. In actuality, that is, you know, pretty much what has been happening. Um, and your mind, you, I believe you, you're, you do need your, your body and mind to be together to heal. And for me, it's going to be strange, but I been spiritually awakened. I, I think in this whole thing has brought me to a point where I don't think I was ever supposed to be in your world. And I say that as in, for most people, your world and your world being the ideal of success that other people have 
brought to the world that everyone else has bought into. It's not me. Can I do it? It's been proven. Yes, I can do it. I, I, I didn't even know bosses actually liked me because you just say, dude, I need this done. It will get done. Um, the problem I have with all that is it got done and it got done, but I don't know that I did it correctly, meaning things were done in a very black and white business way where we needed to finish something and it will need to be done. I don't care how people feel. And I think that's where I missed the mark. So my whole life right now has been about re-examining things and redoing things. And, and I'm not even sure that, I mean, they broke my brain and, and I, I can't even do my own freaking IT work right now. I mean, it takes me three weeks to hook something up. In a business world, that's not good. You need to do it right now, and I need to crawl under your desk, and it better be done now. Um, so, yeah. Mm, I'm not even sure that I can actually go back to being a, a tech because I'm not sure that my brain can function that way anymore because they broke me. Um, but they broke that. This whole trip has been a trip. There's no other way to describe it, man, because it's just been... That part is closed off to me, but the thing that I have always wanted to do seems to be coming to me now. I have always wanted to play the guitar. I've always known I'm different than other people. I've always known that I see different things than other people. And I fought it my whole life, and I don't know why. I don't know why I'm crying either, probably because this is the real me, and it's not that stupid asshole that was doing things because other people say that you got to make money to be happy and you have to have this and you have to have that you don't what's in here man you gotta let it out and i think that's what's happening right now i have to learn these things though i have to learn how to play music i've always wanted to it's been in my heart but i don't do it well I got to learn how to fix guitars because it kind of looks like if I'm going to be a technician, it's going to be a guitar tech. They're all things that I love. I thought they were hobbies. I don't know where this is going. I don't know what's going on. I thank God every day that this strangest is here. I thank God every day that things are going weird because the stranger it gets the happier I seem the more in place things seem the more right things seem it's a very long strange explanation of why I was in that hyperbaric chamber because I gotta do strange things because I gotta be me you know I have a friend Peter Anderson he's amazing it's like he's you gotta let your freak flag fly, man. Peter, I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. I think that's why you were sent to me. To show me that way, dude. I gotta be myself. I can't pretend. I, I gotta be me. And being me is not being part of mainstream anything. Being me is looking at things and going, hey, there is no non-profit for fixing up guitars and giving it to a kid and maybe seeing that smile on the kid's face, you know? And 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 I don't know why people make such a big deal out of, of, of women in rock and roll. I saw them, you know, I didn't realize at the time I was a kid. I didn't know. I was just like, wow, Lita Ford, she's good, you know? Or, you know, Joan Jett. For me, Joan Jett was always... She's an okay guitar player. She writes really cool songs, but Lita Ford's a guitar player, man. Um, Susie Quattro, it's like, oh my God, get those get those women in a band together. Holy crap. Wow. You know, and then all the drum. So just putting a guitar in a little girl's hands and seeing if she can freaking rock out, dude, that would be awesome. And I never knew that they didn't have that opportunity. I just saw them and was like, oh my God, they're so cool. And they're just, you know, that's awesome. But now I'm coming to realize that maybe they need help too, you know. And 
and uh, I'm coming to realize that I need help. I never asked for it, but people are helping me, and I just want to help other people too. Anyway, strange video. Uh, I got to get up because my stupid uh, my mouse died, and I can just plug it back in to charge it. I just past couple of days have been weird. Like I said, everything has been weird. And the old me would have completely worried about that and been like, man, I got to charge that shit. And I'm going to go sit on the couch for a little while, maybe uh, watch some TV and cuddle with the doggy. It's new me. Got to think about things. Got to let the, the stuff I've been doing take effect, you know. Got to let it uh, divine timing. So we're just going to work on that. I'm definitely not getting religious, man. I'm getting spiritual. Because religion kills people. Spirituality saves them. Always look up. He's there, man. He, she, whatever. The creator is smiling on you. Always look up. See you then.